Hey guys, gonna show you a little trick of how to automate your social media today. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be going to, well actually there's a, a plug in there too. We're gonna be going to bufferapp.com, okay? Now what BufferApp is, is basically it's a weird, way, better way to share. And you can share pictures, you know, videos, all that kind of stuff. So I'm just using the free account with this. It gives you some, some great analytics as well. Um, now there's also a, uh, a mobile app so you can you know share on the go but why it's called buffer app is you know it's putting a buffer between you and your social media okay and so like you've always so you can load it up and you'll always have posts uh, coming out so I'm gonna log into my account here and show you how it works so you can connect some of these different accounts and with the free uh, version you can only connect uh, one each of, of Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. With the paid one, you can also add different um, uh, different Facebook pages and, and stuff like that. So what happens is you'll see here, and you can set these different times, but about two times a day, I'm going to post to all these social networks. And if it's a short one like this, it'll go to all all three. If it's If it's too long... Um, you know, then it, 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 you know, I sometimes have to unselect Twitter, uh, like that. Okay. But it's pretty cool. So what you can do is you can do, you just type in a, a, a post, um, like for example, this, who is your, your, and, and I'm, you see, I've, I've got some, um, uh, post down here and I've also got some videos. Okay. So it's really easy to, to add a, uh, a video. Let's do that. YouTube.com. Just do an inspirational video. And uh, let me see. All right, we'll do Ray Lewis. All right, so I'm just going to copy it, and then I'll post it here. I'll, I'll, I'll type what I'm going to write. And then I'll, I'll post it there. And basically, you can even uh, um, choose choose you know, a different thumbnail. Um, I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do is, is you can either post it now, or you could click Add to Buffer, and Add to Buffer will put it down at, at the bottom. Okay, now you can always drag and drop stuff. Um, you know, uh, uh, however you want to uh, uh, to do that, and just kind of organize it. Now, another way to do this is, you know, for things like, let's say, by Salas, um, Shannon Sharp just just joined the uh, the challenge, so we're gonna put in a picture here. And I'm going to upload the picture, and it will be on my uh, on my desktop. Shannon Sharp. Okay. So and then you, and then you can actually type something here. Um, so let's just see. Uh, so let's see. Put in eight Pro Bowls. All right, so we're, we'll put that in. All right, eight.
and then I'll put my uh, link here. All right, now you can see this is minus 56. Okay, so that means it's gonna be trimmed unless we deselect Twitter. So I usually just deselect Twitter and then I'll add that to my uh, buffer. Okay, and now that's gonna go out on, on Sunday unless I, uh, I change things around, but it automatically puts it through a bit.ly link. Now the interesting thing with that is that you can also, and, and the other thing is you wanna put stuff out with a picture. You know, for example, um, I'll show you how to get how to get good pictures on on Facebook. So I'm just going to log in here and scroll down and find, and see something that I uh, something that I like. Um, All right, so let's say you wanted to do this picture. What I do is I click on it, and then I go to Options, and I'll go to Download, because you want to get the, the highest resolution picture that, that you can. That's a problem. That's why you see sometimes pictures get smaller and smaller um, when they go on, uh, on, on, on YouTube. And they're always JPGs. I'm sorry, BMW. All right. So what, what I'm going to do now is just add this in and, you know, when you're obviously when you're not explaining it, you can do this uh, pretty quick and get a whole bunch of, of stuff um, moving and grooving. But I'm just showing you this so you can uh, see it. So we'll click in the picture. We'll uh, go to uh, Told You So BMW. All right, so there we go, and uh, we're gonna reselect. Oh, so it's a little bit too long. Um, I'm just gonna cut this one down. And then it can actually go to, uh, to Twitter as well. And of course, you know, pictures look really good on, on uh, Facebook. They get way more clicks. So we're going to add that to the, uh, to the buffer. And again, you know, it just says add one more in. Hey, it's the easiest way to, uh, to do that. Now there's also a little, um, uh, a little Firefox add-on that you can do to, uh, to share stuff. I don't use that uh, that much, but basically what you can do here is you can actually see when you click on the analytics, you can see that I got a couple likes for, for this. I got a like and a comment for, um, uh, for this. Um, I got five likes from this. All this Huxley, wasn't expecting that. Go figure. But you can kind of see you know, what, what happens. I got 10 likes for you know, Tony Robbins, and I had my little <laughs> translation there. Um, and some things don't get, don't get a, a whole lot of likes and, and clicks. But at least you're starting to kind of see um, you know, really quickly, what gets likes when you when you look back? Um, same thing with uh, with Twitter. I don't really, I don't really, not too active with, with Twitter. And then here is uh, LinkedIn. Okay, and some of these don't have clicks, but here I put one out about a Word, WordPress blog, and I got 22 clicks on that. Um, you know, which is uh, which is pretty good. I got. Four clicks on on this, so you, so you can actually see that you know this is actually working. And at the same time, all these clicks on LinkedIn, I wouldn't actually go and post on LinkedIn. Okay, um, 
you know, I would I wouldn't take the time to do that. I wouldn't take the time to log into all these different accounts at once. Whereas with with this, what we have is we have you know the ability to post from all of them at once without the distraction of seeing other people's Facebook stuff. So you can do it really really quick. And I'm going to show you one other way that I um, that I use this. And uh, what I'm, what am I going to do here? I'm looking for. Uh, graphics. All right, so I I put some Facebook uh, quotes in here and and I save them in in my uh, Evernote account. And these are just stuff that I pick up off Facebook. You know that uh, most other people have have done. And what what I can do is I can just drag it um, on here, Will Smith. And the cool thing about this is Evernote just really syncs things between. Facebook, I'm sorry, between like Mac and PC, you know, if you have two different computers, you know, it can all be, be synced up. So it's a great way to store your pictures so you can actually find them again, you know, unless you, unless you use a, uh, a folder. So I'm going to say uh, upload a picture because, again, if you, if you use a picture, you're going to get more clicks. Um, that's just the way it is. Um, And there you go, you know. So I got a bunch of the, these things here, and I can always uh, move these, you know, again around. Okay, and you'll see that I have some here that like, what's the best free conference call provider? Because it's something that I want to know, but it's not really urgent. So I'll just, you know, throw it in there, and you know, probably get some uh, uh, some response to, to to this. So this one, who's going to be truly exceptional this month? Um, you know, it's it, it's basically you know another way to engage because there's a few different things, and then I'll, I'm going to give you one last little secret. I use this uh, app on um, my Mac, and basically you can just click uh, uh, click Inspire Me, and you can reload, and you'll have all these different you know quotes that that come up. Um, And I'll just copy and paste that. So you can post it right to, to Facebook or to Twitter, but this one's copy and paste. So that's the one that, that I do. Um, actually, I don't know if I like that quote. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paste that in there and then and if James York is actually a public figure, I would get more um, and I'm not really sure you know how old this oh okay plan B. So yeah, so this is that's the guy. Um, so I, I will get more clicks if I, you know, probably include a picture. And this is how I do that. I, I go to full size, and then I'll uh, save image as uh, York, and pop it in here. All right. So. There you go, or I could go to uh, to post now. So that's one way to really automate your, your social media. And it really works for a couple reasons. One, you get to do all your stuff at once, and you got to plan it out thoughtfully rather than being reactive. And two, you can batch task it, and I just did a whole bunch of status posts on Facebook, on Twitter, and on LinkedIn, all at the same time that are gonna come out sequentially over time. So I got stuff that's gonna come out until you know, October the uh, the 8th. So you can do it in your own time and it's, it's really much more effective.